Guys, coming up on the vlog next, Little Oak. This, this story is pretty damn cool. To the vlog we have been graced <laughs> by little oak elky from the little oak company yes welcome to the vlog thank you for having me <laughs> um super interesting we were just talking a little bit offline here about some of my history had two fur babies <laughs> before i actually had two real babies and my dogs actually lasted like 16 17 years let's hope you can get your kids longer Oh, absolutely. Um, however, I think a lot of the, the reason why they lasted a lot longer than your average dog was because my wife and I are hyper-focused on making sure that the nutrition that was going into the animals was really clean, really high grade. And then you fast forward, it's been over a decade, but fast forward the last decade and I've got two little girls and fruits and vegetables and food that goes into them have to be high quality as well. It costs an absolute fortune. However, <laughs> when my little Harper was born, um, unbeknownst to us for, I want to say, probably the first nine, 10 months, mm. she had really, really bad reaction to what we now know as my wife's breast milk. It can happen. And unfortunately for us, you weren't around at the time. <laughs> But there was something that we were able to import from, we were living in Los Angeles yeah. and the girls were born there and we, we planned to live there for an extended period of time. And we had to import by the pallet this formula that was really high, clean quality. And nowadays we have more options mm -hmm. and more opportunities with the oak. So do you want to just give the audience a high level? Sure. Sure. Well, it's interesting. I'd love to know which brand that was because 10 years ago, I, having known what I know now, sure. I would wonder if that actually was as good um, as you would have thought because that's what I was like with my son um, who you met earlier. Yep. You know, you know, he, same sort of idea, fed them the best food. You know, they had, you know, fruit and vegetables and, you know, fresh meats and things like that. But Freddie had broken out on this horrible rash over yep. his body. And you take him, you know, did the usual, take, take him to the doctor and they did the usual, well, slap some more chemicals on him and do all this stuff and put him in these, you know, washes and things. And I thought, this is, this doesn't work. How do you put a, so I think it was 16 <coughs> months at the time, you know, little thing. And I said, That's, there's got to be a better way. So in and amongst... By the way, that's where every entrepreneurial start, every, <laughs> every entrepreneurial journey starts. Where the, there has to be a better way. Yeah, and it's usually a personal problem they're yeah, trying to solve. Totally. In this case, when it's children, it really inspires you to find a, a better outcome. Um, but I actually started looking at what was going into his, you know, what I was feeding him. And one of the things I was giving him was still formula at that time, just going to bed at night. And it was the first time in my life I'd sort of looked at the can because you, you know, I just sort of think, you know, my pediatrician had told me one or my yep. friend was on one or yep. you see an advertisement, and you think, oh, that looks good. And I'll give them that. Looked at the ingredients and actually, I mean, I always say shocked. I think shocked is the word. I was like, what? Yep. I was like, wait, hang on. There's, well, there's like maltodextrin. And, you know, I come from a healthcare background and I was like, there's maltodextrin, there's palm oil, there's corn glucose. I was like, this is stuff that if I looked at my food, I wouldn't give. And yep. I was thinking, how did I not know this? This is what I was giving my child. Um, so I kind of was kicked this sort of little kind of project over in my head for a couple of months, probably close to a couple of years. It was a bit of a hobby. Wherever I went around the world, I was looking for formulas and what was in them. Mm -hmm. And I realized that the issue that I had here in Australia with the formulas was actually worldwide. So it, hundreds, millions of parents are feeding their children formula on a daily basis, but with ingredients that little tiny babies and toddlers just shouldn't be having. Yep. Um, so it was at that point that I thought, right, maybe there's something I can do here. And, and I think there was a point where, you know, I did actually go and speak to a number of manufacturers and different people who make formula. And they said yep. to me, you know, Elke, that the taurine that's in cow milk formula is the same ingredient they use in Red Bull. Wow. Well, I thought, even if I make no money uh, at all, I have to do something better. Wow. And that was really the catalyst. So I really like literally, I mean, I put everything on the line. You know, as a single mom with two young children, I, you know, had a tiny bit of money from selling a house, but I mean tiny, yep. but I put everything in and I thought, oh, if it doesn't work, I'll go back to my, you know, go to McDonald's and work or something. But, you know, I just thought I had to do something better. And that's where it started. Okay. And we started this journey and what was the best thing we could do? And we started with goat milk and that's went from there. And so the, the problem, it really extends beyond um, 
you know, in my case, my daughter was allergic to breast milk. My wife changed her complete diet to accommodate and we still had no problems. But like, you really are solving, you know, uh, potential eczema. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, upset guts. Mm -hmm. Well, the interesting thing is a lot of people don't realize that even if children have a bit of eczema or just bumpy skin or, you know, slightly bloated stomach or they're crying, that is, that is nine times out of 10, absolutely what you're putting inside of yeah, them. Indicator. Yeah, and nine, a lot of the time it's actually cow milk because a lot of us actually can't tolerate cow milk, the protein or the lactose. Um, and yet we continue to feed our children cow milk because we have done for generations and generations. Yeah. Um, but when you talk, and this is why we started with, with goat milk, is because it's significantly closer to human breast milk. When it's closer to human breast milk, you have to do less processing, sure. put less stuff into yeah. it. Cool. So we started with goat milk. Um, we were obviously, we made sure there was no palm oil. There's no place in this world where a child should be consuming palm oil. Agree. Because, you know, not only is it terrible for the environment and the world and they'll grow into, but it actually, uh, it actually strips out the calcium, fats and DHA that your baby desperately needs. needs. Yeah. So, you know, we were like absolutely no palm oil and no derivatives. So we were very, you know, very, you know, steadfast in that, that would never have an ingredient that even had a derivative, which let me tell you, that's an interesting thing because so many foods right down the supply chain will have a derivative of palm yeah. oil. So that's why we went for certification because only then do you know that you're absolutely 100% free. Yeah. You know, we did things like, you know, uh, take out canola oil, replace it with cold pressed flaxseed oil, first in the world. And then we moved into actually making from Incredible. fresh goat milk. So we, we like to think of ourselves as, a, you know, the cold press infant formula. No, I love it. And then speaking again offline, I was like, based in Melbourne? You're like, no, Sydney, we have Singapore, we have... We have Singapore, we have... Well, we, we have um, all our manufacturing out of New Zealand. Okay. So our goat farms are there, our manufacturing plants are there. Yep. And then we have all our team, you know, some of the um, guys that you already know uh, working here who do other distribution and marketing. Cool. And then we sell New Zealand, Australia, Taiwan, America... Canada, you could have picked us up 10 years ago. You don't ever know. Um, guys, guys, <laughs> she's come on the show and she's articulated that she had a small amount of money, totally. not a lot. Actually small none, money, virtually none. <laughs> single mom with two kids. A decade later, like your 10 years? Oh, we're about, yeah, seven years now. Coming seven, up in a decade, seven, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Guys, you can do it. You don't yeah. like, like, like a lot of people come on and go, oh, we need to get venture funding. I need millions of dollars. No. Hello. You do have to make sacrifices though. Oh, but, no question. But the one thing I do say to everybody is the, the hard work, the sleepless nights, the worry. Like, I mean, you know, I, t I recount this story regularly now, but you know, there were times where I had no money to even feed my own children, let alone, you know, millions of others. But I just knew I had to do something better. And when you're so, you have to have the passion. Because if you don't have the passion for whatever you're doing, you just can't get up it's in the morning. Fade, it, you fade, sure. it fades. I get it, yeah. But we drive ourselves harder and faster every day, um, surround ourselves with amazing people, you know, can continue to stay focused on absolutely making the best. Because guess what? Our children deserve it. Your girls, my kids, you know, everybody's around the world. So and we'll never compromise on that. And uh, even when the VC guys come knocking, you should never compromise your values. No, but ever. like a lot of people are like, oh, I need millions of dollars to start. You actually don't. You need yeah. to go and prove your value to the market and create a problem whereby you get a surge in orders that you can't keep up with. Then you grab, then you get money to be able to go and do stuff. Or alternatively, you continue to bootstrap. Very inspiring. I can <laughs> talk too. to you until the cows come home, but we don't want to talk goats. about the cows. All the goats. The goats come home. <laughs> um, the New Zealand goats come home. Incredible. Thank you. Incredible. Thank you. Well, and when you have more kids, you know you've got little No more kids. <laughs> oh, shame. But... 25,000 people view this vlog, they're gonna have kids, they may be facing the same problem. And at the very least, if we haven't educated you today on best practices, you need to jump on the little- The little oak company oak com. Company yep. dot com. And if you can't do that, and if you are having babies and are looking at formula, make sure you have a look at those labels and really understand what, what are in them. And if you're not happy with them, then come to us because we obviously have the most natural formula in the world. The little oak company .com. Can I get a link on the <laughs> screen right now? Thanks for watching, guys.